what I think of our planet, I think of as a beautiful, wonderful environment and that has different continents from around the world with different biomes and different ecosystems with a different variety of animals living in these ecosystems. Let me tell you some of those ecosystems that dinosaurs once patrolled our planet. And in our skies, pterosaurs like Ornithocyrus can control the landscapes by flying their massive wings to join with the males and the females in order to breed. And from the landscapes of the North American ecosystems, crested animals like Parasaurolophus communicate their hearts with their massive head crests for sexual display to the females. From the swamps of Africa, animals like Spinosaurus controls our ecosystems. And in our oceans, creatures like Ophamosaurus can control their ecosystems with giant pliosaurs like like Pordo. And on land, creatures like Eustritus bondinus can live in our islands of Europe in the Jurassic period. And a lot of these animals have the capabilities to survive on the air, the land and the water. They all share their ecosystem with different predators and prey in order to survive their own worlds. But what I'm about to show you is the story of a biolophosaurus named Violopho. Okay, this is the story of Alaska's last frontier.
If you like the dinosaur is to your YouTube channel, I have a ton of more videos just like this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on notifications and never miss a brand new video on this YouTube channel where I teach everyone the wonders of prehistoric life as a part of our planet's history. Subscribe for more videos like this one.